Okay, hey guys, uh, it's the CH Piper again. Uh, this is the next battle in the Con tournament final uh, between uh, Tacitus from the CH clan and Saint from the HOS clan. The next um, battle, well, this battle rather, it was the the weaker factions, and basically it's Scythia uh, versus Spain. Hoss um, Saint has Scythia and he has 14k denai to spend and Tacitus um, had Spain he had 15.5k denai to spend and obviously um, certain factions have advantages over the other so different uh, denari uh, levels were to comp compensate for these differences so we'll look at uh, Saint's army and obviously uh, just looking at it it's a skirmish based army he has two units of horse archers, Scythian horse archers and they're five upgrades so probably gold attack, silver defence has two units of headhunting maidens and they're go gold He has six archers, archer war band, go gold. He has two further headhunter maidens, they're go gold. Actually, well, yeah, they're go gold. Has four chosen axemen, well, actually, just axemen, and there are five upgrades. So, again, probably gold attack, silver defense. And other two units of maidens, go gold. So it's kind of a semi skirmish army with fairly powerful axemen. He could have brought um, two more chosen archmen, archers, but he's chosen to go with some infantry as well. So we'll speed this up. This battle's about to start, and we'll check out Tacitus' army. So Tacitus has two units of peasants at the front there. It looks like six units of Blariac Slingers. Go gold. He has three, four, five, six. Six units of Longshield Cavalry. And there go gold with two chevron. Did they all have chevron? Yeah, they all have chevron. And he has one unit of two units of round shield cavalry. And they're fully, they're, they have a lot of upgrades. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like they go gold with possibly two chevrons. So, quite, quite a skirmish based uh, army there. He only really has the peasants to basically absorb uh, arrow fire. So, fairly powerful uh, cavalry. Um, obviously, one versus one uh, maidens beat long shield cavalry, but for the price, um, you can buy a lot more of these guys. So, fairly powerful cavalry. And the wedge formation will help the, the charge as well. So we can see um, Sate bringing over the horse archers there. Tacitus is going to use the peasants probably to hamper the attacks from the horse archers. And one of the rules in the tournament was um, you could hide two units in the marshy area, but you can actually use the marshy area to your advantage. 
So, Saints uh, properly set up here. Um, there's a possibility you could have some troops hidden in there, but it's quite unlikely. However, that's one of the um, uh, options in the rules. Uh, you're allowed to hide, hide two units. Obviously, the peasants there to hamper the horse archers. Um, these these guys are on um, auto aim to be shooting the peasants. Um, uh, Saints taking them off auto aim. And the peasants there um, attacking the horse archers. You can see uh, the slingers there. Um, every time the horse archers are out of formation um, or out of Catabrian Circle, it makes them vulnerable to slingers. So that's one of the reasons why the peasants are there. And they actually got two kills on the, ho the horse archers there. Which is quite a good, uh, quite a good payoff for if you consider how much peasants cost. Don't really cost that much. They're good value for money against horse archers. Again, Tacitus using the the strategy of peasant slingers with cavalry at the back to try and neutralise the um, horse archers there. So right now, um, Saints resting the horse archers. He's going to bring forward his archers, probably. Tacitus moving forward his uh, Spanish army. And the peasants running the horse archers away. And... Saint actually charged the peasants there with the horse archers and they actually he actually lost um, four horse archers there. He did manage to get rid of the peasants though. Uh, barbarian peasants are more sturdier than uh, Roman peasants. Uh, I think they cost a little bit more but they actually had better stats. So probably wasn't a good idea to charge those peasants there but he sacrificed four units of horses to gain better shots than the slingers. If you check out the other flank, um, Saint, he's managed to involve the um, unit of Rancho Cavalry and they're gonna, they're gonna get hit by the horse archers. So again, both both uh, sides playing very tactically. You can see the blade axe slingers there getting some kills on the archer warband. So again, uh, Tastus using the peasants there to get some kills on the um, uh, horses. I mean, one versus one, the maidens are much better than the Rancho Cavalry and Longshow Cavalry. And also, Tacitus, uh, rather, Saint has um, those axemen as well. So Tacitus bringing over the Rancho Cavalry. And they are... Yeah, go gold with two chevrons. So they're quite powerful but not enough to beat the um, headhunting maidens and they just routed right there so yeah, it was a attempt by Tacitus to um, chase down the horse archers I think he did get a few kills on them but it probably wasn't enough to make it worthwhile 
And the other side, we have the uh, host archers firing onto the cavalry right there. And Saint's going to retreat his men. Saints using his uh, maidens well to kill the uh, slingers. Okay, we have a push here by um, Tacitus on the right flank. He's brought over his uh, cavalry. You can see the battle was turning towards um, in favour of Saint here. Um, Saint done a, a really good job uh, killing the slingers on the left flank. And he still has a lot of his maidens left. These uh, these cavalry are very powerful. Uh, they're gold gold with two chevrons. So Saint will probably try and bring his axemen in there to get some kills. A uh, great charge there by Tacitus against those archers. Still has some slingers round about. Um, Saint doing a good job by rotating his army round. He's using his axemen to shield against the light cavalry. Um, Tacitus um, picking off archers here and there. But on the whole, with Saint's doing a great job of keeping his army together. And he still has a unit of horse archers at the back there that he can use later on. So there's an engagement between the maidens and the longshore cavalry. And Saint will bring over his axemen to support the maidens. So this is the deciding battle right here. And Saint's probably going to win this. He's got too many troops and the axemen are like way. loads of upgrades. So that's basically Tacitus, the army's just routed victory there and the Tacitus made defeat. Great victories like this go only to the so best. that was the second battle in the Con tournament final. Um, the score was now 1-1. Uh, uh, both players played really well there. Um, Tacitus played really well. Saint did a great job um, using Scythia and the Maidens with the Axemen at the end. So that was a great game. Um, again, uh, the score is 1 1 and it's a tournament final. So both players play a last game, a deciding game, and that's uh, Rome versus 1, uh, Rome versus Rome rather, uh, 15k CWB. So that'll be the next battle, and I'll leave a link at the end of this video. Okay, that was a great game.